Hello. Hello. Hello, beautiful people. Hello, beautiful people. Hello, beautiful people. I hope ah. you are having a wonderful time wherever you are. Mm. How to enter in resonance together with you your know. partner? Yeah. Yeah, with your partner. What do we do when we are in dissonance? Like we it's are in dissonance. <laughs> Literally energetically destroying each other for like a whole day. And what happens? What? How do we get back into resonance? How do we get back into? Well, yeah. Um, I I can speak from my personal experience. Yeah. I have to enter into resonance with myself. Like just that's it. If I'm in dissonance with you, it means I'm like I'm struggling against you, struggling against myself. There's something inside of me that is saying this is not right and I'm resisting what is. Mm. So for me, like my practice always is going into, if I'm, if I'm on my own or in my own space at my own house, I can drop very easily into silence and presence, which is the space of internal resonance. Mm. And if I just simmer there for a little bit, just simmer in that space, then, um, then I'm available to bring that resonance to our relationship. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. What about spirit in a smoothie? Does it work? <laughs> if I see we are in dissonance, I just go to the fridge and grab some spirit in a smoothie and say, hey, baby, <laughs> drink that. And then, then I, I see literally Shelly going from a bit crumpy or what? <laughs> cranky. <laughs> cranky for, to like, you know, literally the smile and the joy comes out. So try spirit in a smoothie. It's very powerful. Yeah, he did that once. It was really wild, actually. <laughs> I was like kind of cranky and he brought a spirulina smoothie to me. He started feeding it to me like a baby. That could have been part of it. <laughs> <laughs> but I like got really happy, but I think yeah. I felt nurtured by you. Yeah, it was, it was kindness, nurturing. Right? Yeah, he yeah, nurtured yeah. me. Yeah, so kindness works really well. So how do you get back into how do you get back into resonance yeah, when we're in distance? By nurturing? Well, nurturing kindness, you know, um, uh, touch, you know, soft touch on each other. If we grab some oils and we start, you know, we're really nurturing each other's body. I remember this time where we were in dissonance and then you just came to me and you were like, I want to put my hands on your body. And that's mm -hmm. all you kept saying. And then we went back to my place here and then I was naked and you started just nurturing my body. Mm -hmm. And it was such a beautiful thing because it brought back the resonance because you were coming from a place of love. So it was nurturing love, kindness, generosity. The, it's something that brought me back into into uh, into resonance with you. Yeah. So that was really beautiful. Softness. So I think slowing down. I guess not always, but there's something about for me, my the way my system is. Like if I slow down yeah. and drop in and just get really present, mm -hmm. then that nurturing resonance type of energy starts to surface yeah totally. and then it starts to take over if you just allow if I just allow it to kind of come in yeah I find also you know a lot of the practices that I use and I've been using that with different tribes around the world is simply the you know the vital force techniques like start to breathe together start to uh, you know to, um, to shake or to use mantras and different mm -hmm. different energy techniques so if you are a, a mm -hmm. tribe and there is tension in the tribe and then you start you know, making eye contact and really breathing together, mm -hmm. the level of energy is going to start going up and then suddenly you are in a place of, of deep resonance. And I witnessed that many, many times with you as well. You know, we come here in the morning downstairs and then we start entering into some, some sensual practices, you know, sometimes more dynamic. And then eventually we, we end up being in a place which is really high frequency and high vibration. Mm -hmm. So what it does, I feel, is that we are really calling the spirit. Every, every technique that I use is like a prayer like an invocation mm -hmm. and so we go like spirit please help mm -hmm. come in come into our systems and by by for instance breathing together what would it, would it look like you know if you breathe like <laughs> you see it brings a smile and force um you know the good news is that i i, I have the thing there is always an access back mm -hmm. when you're in dissonance it's i you never come to a point where that's it. There is no possibility to to harmonize. There is always an access right. back into resonance. Right, right. And you probably you get stuck though when you get stuck in needing the other person to show up in a particular way. Yeah. That's that's the stuck place when you need something to happen. And I think in relationships in particular, you need the other person to do something. You're screwed. Yes. <laughs> that's where you're screwed. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's more well. It's, 
you're going to do that. I'm yeah, going to do that. Yeah, We're yeah. all going to do that. It's okay. But that's the place of like, you can feel it in your system when you're just like, you're almost clenching and you're contracted and you're like, no, I'm not budging from this space. This is, I'm not budging from this place. Mm. But if you're willing to soften yeah. and kind of let go, yeah. sometimes it's like letting go to letting go of the stories. Right. Letting go of the needs, letting go of the desires, just being present, you'll move right into resonance. Go back to presence. Yeah. It's beautiful. Mm. It's fun to record videos together. Aww. I like it. <laughs> I like having you here. So if you like this, what we are recording here, post questions in the comments. You know, we like to hear about your feedback. That way it directs mm. us a little bit more in recording more for in the future. Mm. You're going to be probably launching some videos by yourself on your channel soon. Maybe. Yeah, I think it's time for me to be doing that again. Yeah. yeah. And uh, as you have seen on my channel as well, I have tons of content as well. So yeah, keep engaging. The more you share, the more you communicate with us, the more we know what this is about and how it helps you. Yeah, thank you. We for love you watching. so much. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>